is a, a little bit of a confusion between people understanding what is indigenous, what is traditional, and what is theater. And they get confused. Uh, the Milaya dance, actually, is not a traditional dance. People wore the Milaya. It's, it's very important to me because the Milaya is part of my heritage. And uh, we made this dance in the very, very early pro, uh, repertoire of the Reda Troop dances, where the daughter, the urban woman, comes out with the Milaya. And it was the first time that the Milaya became an extension of the dance. It moved. It was the way we, we made it move with the dance. Sadly now, everybody thinks that it's a traditional dance. I don't know how. Egyptian women did not dance around with the Milaya. It was something they wore. To me, I have a very great respect to the, for the Milaya because it is, as I said, part of my heritage uh, at a certain period in the history of Egypt would be like from the maybe the mid-twenties until the sixties. People wore the Milaya. It was part of their covering. It was such a hit because the people in Egypt had never seen it before and uh, it was a very, very popular dance uh, which Mahmoud managed to do. Uh, it was uh, sweet, uh, it was nice, it was uh, calm, it was a very, very interesting dance because at the time people didn't see this kind of dance. On, on the stage.